This is Kurt and Davina speaking on the behalf of Jean-Luc Seipke. What could a Resident Evil 4 remake look like? That's the question on a lot of fans' minds after the report that Capcom is planning on remaking Resident Evil 4. The idea has left the internet a little divided. On the one hand, Resident Evil 4 is many people's personal favorite and the prospect of it being lovingly recreated in the beautiful RE engine actually sounds pretty rad. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. But for others, Resident Evil 4 is the pinnacle of the series and, as a result, doesn't need to be remade for any reason outside of it potentially making a buttload of money. No thanks, bro. This is how I felt at first, but the more I think about it, the more I realize how boring it would be to just remaster it with no changes. After all, the RE1 remake and the RE2 remake are two of my favorite games, so Capcom has proven that you can make something great even better. So let's come up with some ideas for how a game already as great as Resident Evil 4 could be even better. Okay. For starters, even though Resident Evil 4 is so beloved, there is actually one aspect that is absolutely universally disliked. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No one likes Ashley. Well, I didn't mind her. She does what I tell her to do, and she's very good at it. But she's a rather simple companion, and we've had a lot of excellent AI partners in video games in the years since. Lovable characters with complex narratives and useful mechanics that make you want them around. Ashley, well, is none of those things. <laughs> Granted, she's helpless by design, an objective you need to protect, but her complete lack of self-preservation instinct feels archaic and, at its worst, frustrates players trying to keep her safe, which leaves a great opportunity to improve her in a remake. Now, I don't think you need to give Ashley a gun, but as an extra set of eyes, she could provide alerts to players of incoming enemy ambushes. She could also inform Leon of nearby treasure or maybe scavenge the loot enemies drop. She could even have an inventory slot that can hold a single item of your choice, such as a spare health spray, which she can use on Leon in a tricky situation. Leon! By giving her small but helpful things to do, she could become much less of a nuisance. What's going on? Now when I think of my favorite moments from Resident Evil 4, I recall the terrifying opening village sequence, the first El Gigante fight when you're assisted by an adorable pup, and the unexpected shift to a gothic castle run by this guy. I've been expecting you, my brethren. Basically, my fondest memories all come from the first half of the game, and rarely the second half. That's not to say that the second half is bad, I just don't think it's as strong. In particular, Chapter 4 feels like the weakest part of the game, as the pacing slows down quite a bit. At this point in the game, I'm ready to fight Salazar and escape the castle, but oops, Ashley is kidnapped again, and Leon needs to trek through the mine and make his way back up. There are great sequences in this chapter, like the minecart chase and Ferdugo, but I can sort of take or leave the rest. Trimming down Chapter 4 could solve this, but I think there is potential in moving these sections to after the Salazar fight to help pacing or even reworking them entirely. There's a lot of opportunity to improve this part of the game and even out the pacing while punching up set pieces to make it feel as memorable as the earlier half. Playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time back in 2007, yes, it was the Wii version, and yes, it's still one of the best versions of the game, don't at me, I was surprised by how often the game threw me off guard. Whoa, 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 you're throwing a one-hit kill chainsaw guy at me in the first five minutes of the game? Wait, you're telling me if I shoot them in the head instead of killing them, they could get even more f***ed up? The dog comes back and helps you? Oh my god, this is the greatest game ever made! Moments like these felt special and memorable, and unfortunately, they won't hit nearly the same in a remake because I've already experienced them. Which is why I'd love it if the remake didn't adhere 100% to the original and mix things up to create new moments. What if the chainsaw guy didn't show in the opening but instead somewhere completely unexpected? Or they had new enemy types that are somehow even more terrifying than a plague of busting out of a dude's head. I'm not saying they need to change everything but throw in enough new surprises to help create new memories for returning players. A perfect example of this would be the quick time events. For the record, I think QTs are a huge part of the identity of Resident Evil 4, and I would like to see them stay in a remake. At their best, they keep the player on their toes with the potential for one to happen at any moment. If you succeed, you feel like a pro gamer, and if you mess up, you get a ridiculous death that's good for a laugh. 
It's that element of surprise that makes the quick time events so good, which is why it's admittedly easy to become bored of them on repeat playthroughs of the game. So for a remake, what if they kept quick time events, but completely changed when and how they happen? This could all be introduced via a remix mode that changes up the variables for repeat playthroughs, if Capcom wants to really stay true to the original in the main campaign. Last thing I want to touch on is something that's near and dear to my heart, and that's the voice acting. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Because more so than any other Resident Evil, I think Resident Evil 4's voice acting is a key component to the game. I think that many lines in the game are even more iconic than Jill Sandwich. Where's everyone going? Bingo? For as annoying as Ashley can be, the specific way she yells, Leon! will forever be ingrained into my brain. Four also has the best version of Leon as Kennedy, or as my girlfriend called him, Daddy. Why don't you come over? You pervert! He manages to be simultaneously the coolest and dorkiest video game protagonist with some absolute cheeseball one-liners. Hasta luego. Trying to recapture the magic of old voice recording is next to impossible. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes is an excellent example of that. Snake. Hey. You're that ninja. If the other Resident Evil remakes are any indication, Capcom will probably want to make enough changes to the script that reusing these old recordings won't be possible. Heck, they probably won't get the same voice actors back. Paul Mercier, Leon's voice actor in 4, hasn't done a voice role since 2014, which is why I think they should not even bother trying to replicate that original magic and go their own path with it. I still want it cheesy. I want Salazar hamming it up and Leon making lame jokes. But if it was just the same line for line, I would be constantly comparing it to the original. I imagine that is an incredibly tall order, and I'm sure I will still won't be fully satisfied just because of how ingrained in my brain Resident Evil 4's dialogue is. But I do believe this would be the best way to go about it. Except for the merchant. Those are some of the best video game lines ever recorded and should not be touched in any way. Is that old stranger? Is that old stranger? Is that old stranger? Is that old st <laughs> Thank you. I could go on forever about all the small things they could tweak like letting me switch guns without opening the menu and how they need to keep the fort in front of the logo even though it makes no sense. But I wanted to stick to broader elements that I really care about. So I turn to you all in the comments to let me know what you'd like to see in a Resident Evil 4 remake. And don't just say, nothing, it's perfect. Come on, I know there's gotta be something you wanna see improved. And if you like this video and my ideas, let me know. And if you didn't like them, you can also let me know. Sorry to have bothered you. I look forward to returning to this video in several years and seeing if any of this actually panned out. Thanks for watching.